what's up everybody this is your ux guy and you are watching my youtube channel ux frame and today we are going to create this bouncing dot loading animation in adobe xd so let's start by creating a circle of 110 pixels by 110 pixels then i will change its border color to orange and stroke size to 5 make sure that the property of corner is set to round caps Now I will zoom in a little bit and here I will identify the exact value of dash which completes the circle. So I will start with 200 uh, which isn't enough. Now I will keep on increasing the size of this dash to get the exact size. And I think uh, 346 is our required dash size. So now I will set the gap size to 346 as well and dash size to 0. So as you can see we have this little dot left now. So now I will rotate this circle all the way to 180 degree. Now I will select this artboard and make a copy of it. In the second artboard simply set the gap size to 0 and dash size to half. So to do so I will set the dash size to 346 and gap size to 0 and to make the dash size to half I will divide this value by 2 just doing a little math uh, so why I'm doing this is because to create a reverse effect just like this so now I will copy this artboard again to create a third artboard and here I will reset the rotation of the circle simply uh, so not, not to make you guys confuse why the circle is complete on half dash size which is 173 dash size is because we have set the gap size to 0. So when there is no gap size the shape will be complete alright. So now copy this artboard again and here in fourth artboard I will set the dash size to 0 and gap size to maximum which is 346. So now we have this little dot left again. Now I will set the position equal to the first artboard to make a loop of this animation. To do so I am using Adobe XD guides just like this. So over all the design part is done now it's time to animate. So now let's move to prototype tab and here just drag this little arrow of the first artboard to the second artboard and set the trigger to time animation type will be auto animate easing will be ease in and the time will be 0.8 seconds now click on the second artboard drag this little arrow again and this time duration will be 0 seconds now on the fourth artboard uh, just change the easing to ease out and duration will be 0.8 seconds Now on the 5th artboard just set the easing to bounce and duration will be 1 second. Just like this. And to create a loop of code just connect this last artboard to the first artboard and set everything to none. So now it's time to play this animation. So there we go guys. This is how you can create this bouncing drop loading animation or any other animation by using this technique. So if you find this video useful please let me know in the comments below and if you are new on my channel please subscribe and thanks for watching of course.